All right, let's quickly go to um, Ilorin now. Uh, Quara-based sports journalist Yinka Wilewa joins us now. We'll be talking about um, ABS and, and what's the mood? What's the mood been like in Ilorin? But first, let me welcome Yinka. Uh, if you can hear me, Yinka, good evening. Good evening, you hear me? Well, what's the mood like um, now? ABS. Uh, have gained that promotion that they fought for. So what's the mood around uh, in Ilora, in Kwara? I mean, how's everybody feeling now? No controversies. ABS are where they want to be. Well, uh, it's been fantastic to see us today. Uh, I hope uh, your cameraman was able to get how... Yes, he did. Um, yes, he did. Yeah. How far people went to see their team play yesterday. Some people have to climb you know, uh, houses around the stadium to watch this team demolish gateway yesterday. And uh, since yesterday, there's been, you know, messages, after messages, saying congratulations. People are delighted that action actions is back to Eloran again. And the situation is so, so fantastic because we are feeling it already. Uh, well, <laughs> I might have to ask you this. Um... The coach of Gateway had one or two things to, to say, um, yeah. but I know it's not easy for you to take a neutral perspective, but from your own end, <laughs> did anything happen? Well, uh, I listened to him before I came on here now, and that is a typical Nigerian coach, you know, speaking after a defeat. Uh, it's very clear, we scored four goals, no penalties. I don't know where he's getting what he's saying from. Um, so, you know, typical of the Nigerian coach, they, they want to blame match officials. If you lose a game, we went to Jabode to play them. Uh, we lost and, uh, you know, we congratulated them for, you know, beating us. You know, we had a good handshake with the match officials. Even if we see anything, but football is football. Somebody will win, another will lose. And that was what happened yesterday. We're very, very optimistic before that match, that if this match is played ten times, ABA is going to beat Gateway United ten times. Okay. We are very, very optimistic about that before the match. All right. You can let me quickly ask you this. I know you're very close um, to, to the team. The league may likely start on December 11, if anything um, does not change. Now that the team has gained promotion, how do you think, uh, how ready do you think ABS will be? One of those things that we intend to do now is to recall some of our players on loan. We have, a, a, you know, a lot of them, you know, across uh, MPFL teams. We want to recall them. If we recall them, we we'll look at some of these guys. These are young guys, not me, young guys. We we'll mix them with some of the people that we recall. But you know, we know it's going to be very difficult to recall some of these guys and work with them. But at the same time, we're speaking with the proprietor already to ensure that we're able to, I mean, get some of these guys back and do, and, you know, give them incentives to want to stay back in the Lorraine again. All right. Um, Inka, let me quickly ask you this before we let you go. Uh, yeah. What are the kind of changes uh, that we might likely see? Would there be any ch change of your uh, home venue? I mean, any kind of changes that um, uh, the club is thinking of at this moment? No, 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 no changes. We're going to remain in Lorry. You know, okay. recently, I mean, some few months ago, there was a change in the nomenclature of the club name. It All is right. now Abubakar Bukala Saraki in Lorry FC. Okay. So because of that, we're going to stay in the Lorry. And as for the management, I mean, the technical crew, we're sticking with our, I mean, we're staying with our technical crew. Well, like I told the coach yesterday, when, after the match, when we, when, you know, when we had a little discussion, I told him that we'll do everything to keep you. We know you are, fan you are a fantastic coach and teams will want to come around for you. But whatever it is to keep you, we will do it. And he's also ready to stay with us. I mean, no argument about that. So it's just for us to continue to work together and see that uh, we do well in the professional, I mean, in Nigerian professional football. What we intend to do in the first season is to ensure our stability to, you know, stay, you know maintain our status in the top flight, I mean, in the Premier League. And after then, in the second, I mean, the following season, okay. we have to, you know, try to consolidate on that and see what we can do next. All right, Inka, I want to thank you for your time uh, on the show. We'll be speaking to you again. I know you're in a very good mood now. You're happy as everyone else is in.
Hey, Lauren, that was Yika Oulewa, a good friend, um, journalist based, also the media officer of ABS, Lauren, and um, a Quara based sports journalist.